EMP Centauri is a company with headquarters in the Czech Republic. This company produces electrical and telecommunication devices. I recently tested one of EMP Centauri's exciting products. It was an Ethernet over coax multi-switch. That means this multi-switch can distribute satellite TV, terrestrial TV and data like Ethernet or Internet in the home to various rooms by only using coaxial cables. The product consists of a central unit, which is a multi-switch. The multi-switch is connected only via coaxial cables to the wall sockets in each room, where individual users can connect their equipment. The data input of the multi-switch is connected to a data source, which is usually a device like a router connected to the internet service provider. In addition, the coaxial inputs of the multi-switch can be connected to the satellite dish and the terrestrial TV aerials. The multi-switch is powered by an external power supply unit. The, the device being tested is an EMP MS9-10 NEU multi-switch, which has two satellite inputs for the reception from two satellites. However, single satellite versions of this type of multi-switch are also available. The first coaxial input is for the terrestrial television aerial. The next inputs are for the cables from the satellite dish or dishes. More specifically, these satellite cables could come from antenna converters, but usually from LNBs. For community satellite TV reception and distribution, Quattro LNBs are used. Quattro LNBs have four outputs for vertical polarization low band, horizontal polarization low band, vertical polarization high band, and horizontal polarization high band. For the reception from two satellite positions or two LNBs, eight cables should be connected to the satellite inputs of the multi-switch, four from each quattro LNB. A device like a router from an internet provider is connected by a data cable to the data input of the multi-switch. This input can handle transmission speeds of up to one gigabyte per second. The wall socket can handle speeds of up to 100 megabit per second and they are equipped with two independent data outputs. There is no reason why standard satellite wall sockets can't be used in some rooms as well, but then there would be no data output option in these rooms. The outputs of the multi-switch use coaxial cables and these cables are wired to a wall socket in the rooms of the end user's home. No data cables are needed between the multi-switch and the wall plates. The data is carried by the coaxial cables. The wall plate connects to the input of the satellite receiver via a coaxial cable. The satellite receiver is connected to the TV in the usual way using an HDMI cable. The wall plate also has a terrestrial TV outlet and this connects to the TV's aerial input. The terrestrial output covers all of the UHF band from 470 MHz to 860 MHz. To achieve good impedance matching of the terrestrial TV band, it is best to terminate all unused outputs of the multi-switch with 75 ohm loads. DC block 75 ohm loads should be used. These are usually called terminators. The data outputs from the wall socket can be connected to many types of different equipment based on the Ethernet protocol. For example, the data input connector on a satellite receiver, PC, laptop, IP cameras or video intercom devices and to data routers or switches. The multi-switch including power supply unit should be placed in a spacious insulated box with sufficient air circulation. The power supply provides 12 volts for the multi-switch with a current rating of 2.5 amps. A wired, wiring diagram is shown here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation.